2 Neo Nika, Sonic 1, Zone 3, Act 1, let's just go. Spring Yard Zone. Spring Yard is one of those stages that I never really knew quite what to make of when I was younger. It's kind of like, you got this mountain city kind of deal going on. Kind of like a town square look, I don't know. But you're going to find out pretty soon that, yeah, we ain't in no Marble Zone anymore, yo. We are in the bees on a rampage area. We're in sort of like the precursor of what's going to become a very popular casino or carnival theme. Visually, you don't really get that here. Again, it just looks like a weird kind of town square or something with spike balls and an armadillo. Fire bar adjacent mace. There's, there's all kinds of traps here, but... Even though it is kind of building on the difficulty and trickiness of Marble Zone, uh, we can actually go fast, <laughs> which is nice. We bounce around, all kinds of crazy stuff. I quite like this zone. I, again, I really like the music. It's just so, like... Da, 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 da. It's a bit of an earworm. Don't get shot in the back of the head. These guys! So, I think they're, like, hilarious and adorable, but for some reason, when I first saw these as a little larval squid, they terrified me. I don't know why. <laughs> maybe it's just, like, the spikes or how it's drawn, or maybe I was playing it on, like, a bad TV and I couldn't really tell it was just a funny little hermit crab, but I just remember being utterly terrified of them. Again, I was kind of a dumb kid, but it's okay. Maybe it's because they're everywhere and they want you freaking dead. I gotta stop singing this song. It's just so good. I don't think this ever really came back. Like, this, like, aesthetically... Well, I mean, aesthetically, let's be real. This is kind of... Gross. <laughs> like, it's kind of garish, like, the color scheme and everything. But, you know, the music is really good, and I don't think they ever... Brought it back in any way. It's a little weird. Because it's so catchy. Like I said before, you're going to see a lot of Sonic 1 stuff is kind of abandoned moving forward. Aside from one game that we're going to see. But, oh, here we go. Here's this setup. Oh, man, that was... Well, that was just bad gameplay. Oh, it's such a difficult attack. And so I do really, I think after Marble Zone being so slow, this being like an action platform, Super Mario World Blocks, I keep, I keep just getting drawn into the music. This having so much in terms of speed and traps and bouncing all around and tricky nonsense, it's just a really, really cool stage. It's an excellent Zone 3. Which is kind of funny, because going forward... Oh, don't get trapped down there. You're going to have a bad time. Ah, I keep doing it. Sam's Undertale. Uh, yeah, Zone 3s in the 2D Sonic games going forward are going to be kind of bland. And yet this, I think, stands out as being a really, really... Like, one of the best levels of this game. Because all of Sonic's, like, strengths as a character... And as a playable video game, Needle Mouse mascot are on full display. There's plenty of platforming in the traditional sense. There's plenty of, like, bouncing around, cool slope crazy stuff. Spike ball. Just running amok. Bouncers in... Ah, uh, stop singing. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. I, I love this song. Hey, look, there's a special zone. Let's just give that a shot. Let's give that one shot. Yeah, though, look at this. There's greenery, but weird brown marble and stone slab. I don't... I still don't know. There's a city in the background. Don't fall down there. I fell down there. On purpose, because I wanted to demo what a coin does. Yeah, so again, this version of the game... This collection, I guess I should say, features the coin system, wherein you get... However many coins you have, you can retry the special zones in every game as many times as you have coins. In terms of lives and continues, you just have infinite lives. 
If you play on classic mode rather than anniversary mode, you get the traditional lives and continue system, but you also have to play in 4-3 rather than... rather Ben? Ben drowned. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, rather than the 16-9 widescreen, and I really like the widescreen mode, so I tend to play with these bees. Oh yeah, this slope <laughs> was really crazy. I didn't take half of it, but, you know, let's try and actually get this barrier, because I'm kind of running into everything. Or, you know, whatever. Let's just skip it. I tried really hard to not sing along with that little part. This setup we're going to see kind of revisited in Sonic 2. Crusher blocks. I used to die on every single one of these like 18 trillion times when I was younger. Again, it's hilarious because it's so easy. It's just basic platforming. But again, I started with Sonic 2, which Sonic has less of a cap on his speed. And of course, the level design is a lot more oriented towards that. So this game was actually pretty difficult for me as a kid because I started with two. And so I get to this, and they're like wanting me to time things and platform, and I'm like, no? I want to go fast, man. Want to have tails, just pick up rings off screen and then die randomly? Well, again, we'll get to that when we get to it. Star Post, lagging in stars. Even though I did say the palette of this stage is kind of ugly, I do like the sky and the mountains and the clouds there. I mean, the clouds are part of the sky, but you know what I mean. But the background is very nice, it's just the foreground is this weird... I don't know, it just reminds me of a... <laughs> like a weird small town outside of a big city. And I don't know what to make of this mesh grate. I don't know what the theme of this level is. Sonic games going in the future are going to have more coherent themes to them, a lot of which will get revisited and remixed and revised and sometimes just straight up reused. But Sonic 1! I don't know. We were in some, like, lush green hills, grasslands. Sure, that's a theme. And then we were in medieval ruins. Now we're in a... I don't know. What city would look like this? What city would be built right within a mountain range and then have Ye old town center in the middle. Moin, cope with it, nerd. Oh dear, that was scary. Uh, I don't know how to deal with this malarkey. That kind of didn't work. Okay, it just desyncs. I was like, that doesn't seem possible, and it's because it wasn't. It just <laughs> doesn't sync up with itself. This is another thing that for some reason was impossibly difficult to me when I was younger. Again, just Sonic 2. Hey, what do we got here? Oh my god, it's Dr. Wily. And he's gonna puncture us with his needle mouse needle. Not a particularly complex boss, especially if you know what you're doing. I don't. I never know what I'm doing. I just kind of go off a of base instinct and... Endorphin Rush from Carolina Reapers. That's how I get through my day. A fistful of peppers. Come on. Yes, yeah, so this... You can kind of goad him to the block. But I mean... You can also just wait him out. And there you go, pretty easy. You can get yourself in an unwinnable situation because he will destroy all of the blocks. But we didn't. We won. Hey, look at those piggies and chickens. It's going to be a great breakfast. 